going to tie a Kaufman Stonefly, and I'm starting off with a size uh, 10. It's actually a hopper hook in the vise, but you can use a curved nymph hook. And I'm going to add some additional weight to this. I'll take some wraps here of my lead at about the midway point, and then wrap it forward. Break off either ends. And the thread that I'm going to use is a 6 aught black. I'll start this in front of the lead, reach all the way back, gather it, and then take my wraps through. And once it's in, then I can remove that tag end. Now I'm going to bring my thread down to the start of the bend, or about the point in the hook, and I'm going to dub in a little tag here in the back, and this will help keep the tail split, and I'm going to use goose biots for the tail. And the dubbing that I'm using is actually a uh, Hairtron, and it's a dark brown. Um, even for my black stone flies in, in this, I like to use a, a dark brown as opposed to a straight up brown, just a, just a personal preference there. Uh, and you can tie these in a lot of different color variations. So now I have the little dubbing ball on there. I'm going to go to my goose biat, and for that, I'm going to use a, a natural so this isn't dyed. Um, black again, I'll stay away from it. And this will have a grayish look with uh, the outside of it uh, will have some darker highlights. So again, if you just a, a preference, if you like to use black bats, you can. So now I'll tie these in on each side. And after a couple wraps, you can position them and with this I want to make sure that I'm playing to the natural curve of the biot so I want to have it curve away from the hook shank and then I can trim those after they're tied in. This will have a rib to it. I'm going to use a uh, small black vinyl rib. I'll take a strand that's maybe four inches in length and I'll tie that in on the side. And now I can start to dub in my body. And again, I'll go back to this dark brown Hairtron dubbing. And I want to put a relatively aggressive taper to this. And I'm only going to dub the back half of this for now before I start to put in some more material. So once I'm happy with that, I can bring my rib through. And when I get to my thread, I'll tie it off. And trim. Now for the next bit of this you have a couple of options you can use uh, a turkey feather 
And what I like to do is uh, use hairspray to hairspray that, and then I'll cut this into sections. Uh, but I also like to use thin skin, and for this I'm going to use a mottled oak thin skin. And I've already cut uh, three pieces that are notched. And I'll hold them on top and tie them in. You can leave some of those bits in so it gives some more volume. And then in between each section, I'll put another round of dubbing. And repeat the process. And this will be obviously shorter than the one before it. And the final and now what I can do is come back to my uh, biots and I'll put the antenna in. So again, I'll take two biots, and this is very similar to tying in the tail. I'm going to use the curve of the biot to steer away. I'm going to tie these on the side so I can still get at the, uh, the eye to tie these in. Tie it in on the other side. And trim. And now we'll just finish out with that same dubbing. And I'll whip finish here. Careful not to catch the antenna in that and trim. Clean up some of this material around the around the head, and then finally, I want to pick out this thorax.
and that is a Kaufman stone.